Hey guys, and we are back to July 2024, part 3. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to thumbs up, and ding the bell to be notified when the next video is out. Continue on with today's video. After grabbing an extra coffee, I am actually having my hair appointment today, so off I go. Today I'm getting my hair treated. I'll also be installing some extension and having a quick trim and haircut so that I can blend more seamlessly. I was introduced to the salon I would say more than 10 years ago and every time I go back to Vietnam I always go to the salon because they specialize in hair extension as well as hair coloring which is exactly what I am into. I too vouch for the salon and their beautiful work. This is also the salon that I go get my hair wash in every other day. I will link the address on video as well as down below. As you can see, the results speak for themselves. This salon is one of the salons that makes me want to just pack everybody into my suitcase and take them back to America with me because they do such a great job washing my hair and taking care of it and the price is phenomenal. This hair took a good four hour, but I'm glad it's done. I love the result and I can't wait to show my mom. And the next day I took everybody to the salon and we all did our manicure pedicure. Once again, this salon has three workers that I want to pack into my suitcase and take them back to America with me as well. Can you believe it? All of this for 10 people, the manicure, the pedicure, the fake nail, all under $100. I'm not even kidding. Every day goes by really quickly because you have to visit this person and then that person and then the only time you really had to yourself was at night. And at night, I tend to hang out with, well, the younger cousins. And tonight, we are at a Thai restaurant. My favorite thing about Vietnam so far is reconnecting with my cousin. I mean, I know of them when we were all babies, but as you grow up, you kind of grow apart and it's not like you don't love each other, it's just you have your own life and you have your own friend and you just don't talk on social media. So we went to have dinner at Thai Market and now we're heading over to the hotel for the rest of the And I'm really, really happy that Erica is reconnecting with all the cousins and I'm glad that she found people her age to kind of hang out with. She was like, okay, let's go. Said, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Your ear will pop. Bye-bye. Let me tell you about last night. That was not it. I only filmed that part. And then we had another bar to go to and then went karaoke and then by the end of the night everyone was wasted we took everyone home it was all kind of crazy and the next morning here i am going out for coffee at 6 a.m i'm not kidding it's 6 a.m and i'm up and i'm dressed and i'm ready for coffee 
one of my favorite thing about Vietnam is having extra help because I am such a tiger mom. I don't trust people with my kids, but with my aunt because they've been with my kid last year, I've watched the way they handle them. I love how my kids love them right back. So like it makes me relax more this year around um, because I know my kids are in really good hands. So I can really relax and just enjoy myself. Con quay phim Con quay phim chứ không phải chụp hình Em không muốn ở đây luôn hả bác Em còn một ly cà phê phim sữa nữa mà Ủa gì nhung dương đó They're not eel, the koi fish. It is definitely heating up and I'm about to take the girls home. They're gonna enjoy their air conditioned home and I think my mom and I, as well as my dad and my husband, we're gonna stop by my cousin house. We're going to spend some time with my dad's side of the family for my uncle's death anniversary as well as the day after. We have to come back there as well. It will be my great, great, grandfather's death anniversary so yeah làm gì cô are you mimicking your sister You have a good time swimming? What's your favorite part about Vietnam so far? Diving in the pool and diving in. Oh, yeah? How do you feel? Like it? Ah, we don't want to see it. Kate? Kara? Kaylee? Yeah. Trời ơi! Tại sao khó tính với mẹ thế? Mama, how can I stick these nails on? You need glue. Uh, what, what, but I don't have any glue. Well then, you would have to wait until I go to the market to buy it. Can we just go right now? No, it's lunch time. We can After go right lunch, now. After we go there? I will go there and get it myself. After lunch? No, no, no. Hôm nay mình qua bên nội để mà ăn đám dỗ của bác của mình. I'm not too close to my father's side of the family, mainly because there's such a disconnect, there's just so much trauma, and I choose to stay away from it. So it might be nice to catch up to everybody again today.
I think the only issue I'm having is the fact that I am definitely hungover from all the alcohol I've been drinking the past few days non-stop. So my dad, my husband, and I decided to get a massage at Bliss Spa. I saw this particular location yesterday when I was eating out with the group and I wanted to try it out. The price is almost the same as Blue Spa. The interior is okay. Looks kind of ghetto on the inside to be very honest. The girls are nice but they're too thin and they're too small and they didn't do a very good job massaging to be very honest. So to me, I think it's a waste of money. I really do not recommend coming here. So are we having this after or appointment? Tastes pretty good. And that afternoon, it was time to take the girls to their dance class. My dad and my uncle want me to join them to Nyao, which is party with their friend, but honestly, I'm just so drained. I might just bail out and take a nap. culture they value boys more than girls so growing up I've always been swimming against the current and skating uphill if that makes any sense so I guess the fight in me come from the fact that my dad has five girls and I always had to compete against everyone else who had boys in the family I've always had to be smarter I've always had to be stronger I've always had to be faster I've always had to just achieve more and I guess I'm glad that my dad is proud of me and it's crazy that he shows me off like I'm a boy because of everything I've achieved but it is quite tiring to keep up that is why I decided to sit around and watch my girl dance instead of join him and his friend because I'm tired of being shown off to the world like a monkey <sighs> you guys I'm tired feel so tired and drained. It's raining outside. It's just been really yucky. I just need a really good night's sleep. So I don't care that it's 7 o'clock. I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna call it a day after my shower. And I had the best sleep ever. I slept from 7 p.m. all the way to 8 a.m. the next day and I'm happy and I am ready to go. Today we are visiting my grandpa's and grandma's grave. It's been a long time since I visit their grave. Today is the grave to visit our ancestor. I've been told that my luck in life is from my ancestor and my grandparent and they really are really kind and giving individuals so I can see that a lot of my blessing a lot of my prayers are answered and I do give a lot of thanks to them because if we believe in the almighty being whether he is God, Buddha, Allah or whomever we must also give thanks and believe that our ancestor is always looking over us and I don't know about you guys but I was told by everybody that I'm my grandparents favorite even if I'm a girl and they have so many jaded thorns that are boy, I'm still the favorite. And they also said that in my future I will go the furthest in life. And ding ding ding, they are once again correct. I am the strongest in my bloodline. And I'm proud. <laughs> What's really, really crazy is my mom is my uncle's favorite sister. Sorry, all the other auntie, but it's true. He said so. He confirmed it. So that makes me his favorite niece. Sorry, everybody else. Just me, once again, the favorite of everybody. 
And you may think I'm being petty, but trust me, in the Asian community, in the Asian family household, the favorite has the most power, and they have this thing called the veto ability. Literally, it doesn't matter where you stand in the family tree. If I say no, it's a complete no. So you're probably wondering what the heck we're doing. Um, usually on the 1st or 15th for like a certain calendar that you either go and visit the grave and clean it up and like offer incense. Well, today is a death anniversary for one of my great great grandfather. So we're here to visit the grave. And the people that you're seeing that's walking around, there's three strange people. Those are the grave people, That those are the people that take care of the grave. They make sure that no one robs it. They make sure that, you know, the places around it is always nice and clean. And they make sure that once the, uh, you know, the, the incense is fully burned out, then they can take the fruit so that the cow doesn't like, this just rub the grave. But yeah, they're just people who just manage the grave. And you are seeing that, right? This is my grandfather. He does have two names because his original name is Tang, which means my last name, my real last name is Tang, not Mac. But come to find out, Tang is Chinese and so is Mac. So I guess I'm Chinese, even on my father's side. But that's okay. I speak Vietnamese, so I'll claim Vietnamese. Anyways, after visiting the grave, we call my aunt and my aunt is going to meet us at the temple next. There is a temple that I have been sponsoring because, as you know, I lost my child and that's where I decided to go so that my child wouldn't bother me. Ever since I gave my child a new home here, I don't see the child in my dream anymore. And um, every year when I go back, I always try to visit and even if I'm not there, I make sure that it has everything it needs and in this kind of environment I pray that the child will pass on and of course you could clearly tell this is a Buddhist temple why did I choose a Buddhist temple and not a Catholic church of some sort um, because I was originally Buddhist and like I said your belief is your own I got married to my husband so I follow his religion but that doesn't change the fact that there are beliefs that no religion will erase from you once you have embedded it and I feel like every religion has something great to teach I do not believe in blindly following any religion but I do have an open ear to everyone who has something to say about their religion of choice because I do believe that every religion is there to teach us how to live and if we agree to a point that doesn't mean we fully follow the religion we just agree to the point and if it makes point if it makes sense why not I do agree to a lot of things that Buddha teach I also agree to a lot of things that you know God teach or what the Bible say or what the Catholic priests preach to me personally, religion is nothing more but a guideline to be a better person, to live as a decent human being. So today I'm at another death anniversary. This time it's my great great grandfather instead of my uncle that was hell yesterday but today it's just you know the elderly and we ended that pretty quickly because i actually wanted to take my kid to the play center i think vietnam is getting really up there with their creativity on how they can really keep kids entertained these plays house each sector has two or three workers that keeps this playhouse nice and clean at all times there really is so much to do and it's so Instagram worthy and so aesthetic and I'm just so obsessed with it because dude it's just so cute seeing kid you know and all these cute little backdrops these are the toys I wish I had and I'm so happy that my kids are so blessed to be living in this era where there's so many pretty and beautiful things all around them think of it as a temporary daycare temporary so there are a lot of worker there making sure that you know each station is clean and that no one is fighting 
every station has like two to three workers so your kids are safe and the kid in order for them to exit the place they have the scan has to match your wristlet and they really do remember who the moms and the dads are and they're really strict about how many people can go in and even when i go in here just to watch my kid i have to pay a fee What you doing? Even I'm really amazed when I see this place. I mean, this is a great investment. This is something that we need to open in America. You know, play center that actually looks like play center. That's actually aesthetic. That actually has toys that kids want to play with. Because I just feel like the play center and the daycare center in America just looks so ghetto. You know, it just looks so underdeveloped. Like, Vietnam is really stepping up their game. Look at this art. Look at all this stuff. Look at all these things to do. It's actually an enjoyable place for the kids to be at. Even me as a mom, I enjoy being here. If I wasn't wicked busy with everything I have going on with my life, I would literally invest in something like this in America. Swim.
play place, my mother took all the kids home because it was time for dinner at 7:30. My sister and I decided to roam around this mall a little bit, and we found this cute little store. The price is pretty okay, so we decided to grab a few things. I might do a haul for you guys, depending if I leave this clothes back in Vietnam with for my cousin to wear, or if I took it with me. So we'll see. What I do love about is they do take credit card here and these bigger mall. However, the best way for you guys to make sure that I start doing more hauls on my trip is I need to see more comment down below. I need to see more requests for me to actually put in the effort in doing so. After picking up a few pieces, we decided to have some up, which is snail, with my cousin and his family. <laughs> Obviously, is the all these area for me to keep shoes. These mirror actually bends, so you can really see yourself in every corner. If you think of doing something nasty, you are my kind of people. <laughs> We have two areas.